Hi, are you ready to kickstart your yoga practice? Well, if you've been sitting too long or lazing around too much, or just need a structured program to get you back into your yoga groove, then this series is for you. This is a kickstart program that has seven different practices. Yes, you can do seven different practices one day at a time, or just mix them all up. You'll find that they're easy, accessible, and guess what, they're fun. Hi, I'm Sherry Zach Morris, and I'm a certified yoga therapist, and I am the founder of Yoga Vista and I welcome you to this practice. It's a seven day challenge. Each class is about 15 to 25 minutes and we focus on lots of different themes. We'll focus on posture and balance and back care and movement and mobility and fun. This program is based on chair yoga. We will do poses that are sitting down. We'll do poses that are standing up. As always, you can pace yourself. You can stay seated the whole time. And when you're standing, you can hold on to the chair. That's the reason why we use a chair. It's our great companion to get us to be a little bit stronger. We are at the beautiful Rancho Guajome Adobe here in Southern California. Look at this beautiful environment. And every single one of these classes, we're gonna have a different location. So you'll have a beautiful tour of the Adobe as you work out with me. Always remember to check in with your doctor or your healthcare provider to make sure that these kind of practices are good for your health condition. As we age, we know that we need to take good care of ourselves. Just like this adobe is so beautiful because it's been well taken care of. This series will help you do that. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful program I created for you here at the adobe, and I'll see you at the ranch. Namaste. 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 We'll see you at the ranch. Namaste. Hi, Sherry here, and today's class is gonna focus on cardio and endurance. Cardio meaning your heart and your lungs, cardiovascular, we're gonna get things moving. And you know why that's important? It's important because it brings energy into your body. If you feel sometimes that you get tired midday towards the end of the day, maybe you just need to breathe a little deeper and maybe move a little bit more and you're gonna get that energy in. So today's class on the ranch, we're in the gazebo area. And this is a place that I'm sure had many weddings and lots of dancing. So we'll be doing dancing, we'll be sitting, we'll be standing, and we'll be moving. So as always, make sure to pace yourself, right? Take your time, skip the things that don't work for you, and enjoy the things that do work for you. Are you ready to start? Let's do it. All right, we'll begin today's class by just breathing. And this time we're actually gonna work a little bit more on our lung capacity. So we wanna make sure that we are breathing into all the edges of our lungs. Our lungs are a pear-shaped organ, which means we need to breathe in three dimensions, right? Not just one dimension or two dimensions. And we'll do that just by doing some simple movements. So first, you're just gonna inhale your breath, open up, and then exhale your breath and close down. Good. And inhale, open, and exhale down. Lifting the chin this time, inhale, open, and exhale down, maybe a little bit wider. Inhale, open, and exhale down. And last time, inhale, open, big and wide, and exhale down. Good, hope you're feeling a little bit more energy even starting out right away. Now we're gonna move a little bit into the side of the body and breathe there too. So take one hand, left hand on the chair, the other hand's gonna come up, up, up to the shoulder, and we're gonna go down, and up, down, and up, good. And then we'll breathe, so we'll go inhaling, and exhaling, and inhaling, and exhaling. Two more, inhale, and exhale, good. Open up those ribs, inhale, and exhale, good. And to the other side, here we go. We're gonna go down, and up, so inhale and exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale, and exhale, and again, inhale, and exhale. Very good, fingertips to your shoulders, roll them back a little bit, good. Then take them all the way out to the side, big open stretch, good. Bring your palms up, take them to the top, interlace them, and then a big, wide, long stretch, yeah. A little tilt. With the breath, good. Back to the center, a little tilt. With the breath, back to the center, and then a release. Good, now we'll move into the hug a tree breathing sequence. I love this one especially because it brings oxygen and movement and expansion into the backside of our lungs. Very important, this area right back here. So we're gonna hug a tree, and it looks like this. See how you're hugging a big tree and you're opening up your back? Good, so we're gonna inhale here, and exhale, pull the energy in. 
Good. Inhale, hug your tree. Exhale, pull the energy in. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. And one more. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Now shake it all about. Good. And then take your feet and your hands and just shake it. Oh, yeah. We're getting the energy in. Good. And then now we're going to start to walk. We're starting to get that heart rate up just a little bit. We're still warming up. So just take your time. Good. A few more steps. And then release it. Good work. So the next sequence is going to be our cardiovascular sequence. It's called sun salutations. It's a very popular sequence in yoga, and it's meant to get your heart and your lungs moving and your blood flow from your head to your toes. And it's a wonderful sequence. So I'm going to, again, caution you as to how many you want to do. We'll probably be doing six, or maybe I'll sneak in eight, just because it gets that heart rate up. So pace yourself, and here we go. Bring your hands to your heart center. Sitting up nice and tall, feet are planted. Where is your posture? Notice if you're sitting away from the back of the chair, good for you. And if you're not, remember you're working on that. Good. So you've got that nice tall erect posture, good. On your inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up to cactus. And on your exhale, bring them all the way back to the heart, good. We're just gonna warm up those arms a little bit. So inhale, we're up. And exhale, we're down, good. And this time we're gonna go a little higher, inhale up. Exhale down, and one more time. Inhale up, good, and exhale down. So you decide which shoulder movement you want. You can stay low or go high. So inhale, we're coming up. Exhale, arms and cactus. We're gonna do a cat cow, which looks like this. Fold, round the hips, and then open. Good, and then fold, and then open. Good, when you're in this open position, you're gonna take your hands to your knees and you're gonna slide gently down, maybe towards your knees or maybe towards your shins, not too far. Then you're gonna go inhale, halfway up. Good, exhale, you're gonna fold down, just a little bit. Take your right hand, bring it out to the side, look at your thumb and bring it down. And then the other side, look at your thumb and bring it down, good. We're gonna come back to the top, all the way up, all the way up, and back to your heart center. Good, that's one. So we'll do a few rounds, just like that. Exhale here. Two cat cows, and inhale, and exhale, and inhale. Hands to kneecaps, take a nice deep breath, and then we'll slide towards the floor. Inhale, we're halfway up, we're arching, good. Exhale, we're gonna bow a little bit, keeping that back straight. We're gonna take that right arm out to the side, and bring it down, and left arm out to the side, and bring it down. Power back up, maybe look up. Good, back to your heart center. One more like that, we can do this. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, arms and cactus. Take your cat cows, folding, opening. Folding, heart open, good. Hands to your laps, slowly roll down just a little bit. Inhale, halfway up, lower down. Now, if you have glaucoma, you wanna keep your head straight ahead. You don't wanna drop your head, okay? Take your right arm out, bring it back to the center, and your left arm out and back to the center. Power back up. Oh, I bet you're feeling warm already. Good, back to the center. Good, now we'll add a little twisting motion. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, arms and cactus. Two cat cows. Bow and open. Bow and open. To your knees, float down a little bit. Inhale, arch up a little bit. And exhale down, good. Take that arm out, maybe a little higher. You decide, take it down. And the other arm up and take it down. All the way up to the top, and we come to cactus. And we're gonna take a twist, so we're gonna exhale and twist to the right. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Good, inhale, center, exhale, back to your heart. Good, now we're gonna tilt, so inhale up. Exhale, arms and cactus, two bows. Inhale, exhale, good, inhale, exhale. Hands to kneecaps, slowly slide down. Bring it halfway, slide down again. One arm is up, and then lower. The other arm is up, and lower. Take it to the top again, and when your arms come to cactus, we're gonna tilt to the right on the exhale. So inhale, exhale, tilt, and inhale, and exhale, tilt. Good, and inhale, and back to your heart center. Good, two more, we can do it. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, cactus, two bows, one, and up, 
two, and up. Good, take your bow halfway down. Keep your head up if you need to. Come back up, and then we'll bow. One arm is out, and bring it down. Other arm is out, and bring it down. Take it to the front. So we're gonna have both arms facing each other, and then lean a little bit. Oh yeah, there's your core work, good. Toes are gonna stay down, but the heels are gonna come up and just push into the bottom of your toe mounds, good. Then drop those heels, inhale, lift. Hands back to the heart center. Last lap, we can do it. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, arms and cactus. Then the two bows. Bow and open, bow and open. Take it down for our little fold. Halfway up for our arch, and then a fold again. One arm is up, and then lower. The other arm is up, and lower. Take it to the top, and then bring your arms out in front. Lean a little bit if you want to. Heels are down, toes are up. Good, pressing into the heels. Lift those toes up and spread them nice and wide. If you've got them spread nice and wide, I want you to wiggle them a little bit. Good, drop your toes, inhale, lift, and back to the heart center. Whew, how'd that feel? Take one hand on your heart, maybe like the Pledge of Allegiance. Just take a moment. Feel free to scooch on back if you have your back away from the chair. Let's just take a little pause and just notice what we're feeling in our bodies, right? With your eyes closed, I want you to notice that your breath might possibly be feeling deeper and your heart is beating. Good, so thank your heart right now. Thank your lungs right now for just doing such good work. And gently flutter your eyes open. Great work, everybody. So now we're gonna go into our dance. Are you ready? Let's have a little bit of fun. This one is called Living on the Corner of Joy and Gratitude. So I'm just gonna go for the dance. If you come back often to this particular class, you will find that this dance is gonna be so much fun. You're gonna love it and you're gonna know it by heart. So we're just gonna start the music and get ready to roll. Remember, pace yourself and have some fun. I got my happy on. Good, let's sing. Living my favorite song. Skip again. Flowers are blooming and skies are always blue. And where are we living? Living at the corner of joy and gratitude. Good job. Now we're going to work those hips. One leg is coming up. Here we go. On up. my own party my and then a own circle. celebration. Side. Life is the reason and each circle. day, the occasion. Good. One leg goes out, and the other. Celebrate being alive. Yay, we are alive. Good, slowly come back in. Get ready to skip. Living at the corner of joy and gratitude. Get the happy on. I got my happy. Singing my favorite song. If again, flowers are blooming and skies are always blue. Living at the corner of joy and gratitude. Good. We do some hip work again. Here we go. Out and in. Life is for living. And roll it around. I'm gone.
How'd that feel? Yeah, I think you feel your heart beating, don't you? And you feel your lungs expanding. So take a moment again, maybe scooch on back. I love to take these little pauses because it's just a moment of reflection and acknowledgement for the strength in your body that's getting you to do all these great things. So close your eyes, hands on your heart if you want to do that, and just take a moment to slow down your heart rate. Take some deep breaths and slow things down. Whew. Good. And flutter your eyes open. How you feeling on that one? Feeling good, huh? All right, are you ready to stand up? Come on, let's stand up and do a few things. Come on up. So we're gonna turn our chair and come into a pose called chair pose, but actually I call it the stool because we're gonna be a little bit higher in our seat. So you wanna have your feet hip width apart and you're gonna bend those knees a little bit and keep your back pretty straight. You can tend to lean forward if that feels good for you. And once you do that, you should feel kind of nice and solid in your lower part of your body. Good, so we're gonna hold this for a while. And remember, you're gonna pace yourself. So anytime you need to stand up straight, go ahead and do that, okay? So take one hand out in front of you with your thumb facing up, good. When you inhale, your arm's gonna go out. And when you exhale, your arm's gonna go in, good. And then we'll go again, inhale and exhale. And one more time, inhale and exhale, good. Other hand. Here we go, lift it up, inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Last time, inhale, and exhale, good job. Now straighten those legs up. Oh, that was a lot of work, huh? How about kick your butt? That will take your heel towards your butt, stretch out the front of your thighs. Very good. We're gonna do another holding pose, okay? This one again holding for the endurance and the strength of your being. So we're gonna come into our Warrior One series. The right foot will stay where it's at. The left foot will step back so it's slightly angled. So both hips are facing the back of the chair. You're holding on, right? Bending that front knee and always checking your alignment, making sure that your knee is never overextended over your toes. Good. And then bringing one arm into cactus, doesn't matter which one. The other arm into cactus. Good, then take the elbows all the way down and then bring them back up, shoulder height. Good, take them all the way down, bring them back up, and all the way down, and back up, and one more time, all the way down, and back up. Good, and then releasing your hands to the chair, step it forward, good. And now we'll go to the other side. So you're gonna keep that left foot facing forward, the right foot's gonna step back, and remember, when you bend the knee, you wanna make sure you don't overextend that knee joint. Keep it safe, okay, good. One arm in cactus. You always can stay holding on if you want to. We're just holding for endurance, you know that. Holding for endurance and strength, holding that. Good, and now we'll do our open and close. We remember this from our sun cells, right? Good. And we'll do two more. One, good. And two, good. And then bring your hands down, step it all the way forward. Very good. Now we're gonna do one more standing pose and this will be a balancing pose. We're gonna be challenging ourselves a little bit and strengthening our legs. So one leg will be down, doesn't matter which one, the opposite hand to your hip, and then lift a leg up and you're gonna hold it and point and flex. Good, point and flex. Now only if it feels good, you might wanna tap the chair or you might wanna put your hand on your hip as you point and flex. How's that feeling? Got your balance good today? Good and then release it, good. How about a march a little bit? And then we'll do the other side. So holding on, other leg comes up, try to keep the knee straight. Doesn't matter how high the leg goes, right? If the knee is straight, so you're working those quads. And then pointing and flexing a few times, getting the circulation from the bottom of your feet back up to your heart. Getting all that blood pumped back to your heart, good. And if you want to, tap and go for it by taking both hands to your hips. Very good, you got it. And then bring it all the way down, maybe a couple marches. And lastly, kick your butt. Remember that, always important after you work those strong leg muscles to kick your butt. Good. All right, come on down, you did some good work. All right, everybody, great job. I hope we got your heart going a little bit and your lungs expanded a little bit. I hope you come back often for this particular class because it's gonna make you stronger. And these days, we need our immune system as strong as we can, especially our lungs, right? So if you're breathing a little heavy, that's good. So see you next time. Namaste.